A little reset around the sink area and also fixing some of the problems. So first I'm going to clean the drying rack. One of the things that I was on the hunt for is a tray for under the drying rack and I used to use some towels and they worked okay-ish <laughs> but this one is definitely easier to clean and it will just draw back the water into the sink also I'm going to hang a little basket where I can put uh, the silverware to dry As I organized the pantry, I have bigger jars for spices, or more like for dried onions and dried garlic uh, that are coming in a bigger amount. So I have those spoons for that I'm going to leave it in the jar and I have this little tray for washing vegetables. This handy tool, I get really excited because it's a metal one and I can just pull back this little ring on the top and I can place any kind of sponge or whatever I want on it. The next one is gonna be for the freezer. I have some items that stain like a turmeric and garlic that just makes the container smelly. So I'm going to have a designated little containers for them to freeze items in there and I also need a smaller amount from that Washing the rosemary in some salty water and once uh, they are clean I am going to put into this small container because this is something I like to use as a fresh herb but I don't have this in my garden <laughs> they just don't survive <laughs> and um, so I have to purchase them and uh, once in a while I stuck up on them and besides to making a uh, salt infused or herb infused salt out of that sometimes I just need the herb itself for potatoes and I like to freeze them Sometimes I run out of garlic so I'm going to put a few into this little container and into the freezer just for as a backup. I cooked some beef another day and I have some leftover sauce from that and I'm going to add some water and mushroom and rosemary and I'm going to make a soup. Another recent favorite is chia pudding and um, we love it. <laughs> I love actually that we can have so many variety of that. The base is very simple. I just use almond milk and chia seeds and a little bit of a maple syrup. But uh, if I add some coconut cream, it's even richer. This is gonna go into the refrigerator, so it's a perfect snack on the summer. Uh, we just love to eat at any time. And I love that each can be a different variety. I like to use all sorts of freeze dried powders. I used dragon fruit, purple potato powder, and I used blue spirulina. I have to prepare dinner fast and 
and Joet was smoking some chicken thighs on the smoker so I just had to do the side dish and since we have lots of zucchinis I sliced them up I added uh, some spices like dill and smoked paprika salt and I'm going to bake it for 45 minutes for 375 degrees and <laughs> I had to prepare the potato fast as well so mashed potato was out of the question because it takes a little bit longer frying them is the fastest way so I cut them up to tiny pieces because it's more crunchy that way and also it cooks faster that way we ate so many rice and vegetables recently I think the french fries will be a nice change This is the pickle I made a few videos ago. It's really ripened now. It has an amazing taste. It is one of our favorite now. The way we start to clean up the counter tub is eating off of everything that we find there. <laughs> it's it's been a routine for us. Love the leftovers and I'm going to set aside the one that can be a whole meal and we're just going through what we have to see what we have to make tomorrow. Basically, this is a quick reset for the kitchen at night, so I'm already thinking of tomorrow. The more I do tonight, the less I have to do in the morning, so that's always my goal. And it depends on the day, of course, sometimes sleeping is a more of a priority, but if I have the energy and time, I really like to just clean up the whole entire kitchen, so make sure it's nice the next morning. It definitely helps my day to go better and just more productive the whole entire day if I don't start the day with a messy kitchen. Yay, I have some soup for tomorrow morning. This island has a lot of traffic because <laughs> this is the first point that everybody reaches in the kitchen so whatever we bring back to the kitchen it ends up here and also the cooking is happening in that area as well since uh, this is where the cooktop is so it needs to get washed multiple times a day uh, in order not to burn all sorts of oils and grease on the cooktop a little reset between cooking is very helpful on the long term to not to have a heavy duty cleaning it's very easy to clean it up after each uh, meal is prepared but I would have a lot harder time to clean up all these if I would neglect them so I try to be on uh, stay on top of it I'm doing my best to clean it up after each uh, meal is prepared here Thank you. 
this little handy tool helps me to clean out the nooks and crannies and also using a dish soap is just in my opinion is the best way to clean up everything because I don't have to spray it several times I just get it done with one wash and it's really dissolving all the grease so I find that this is a faster method to clean that needs to be a heavy duty cleaning I went with my friends to this incredible hike and I had to take the boys back to show them this amazing view. It's the same old story being told inside my head. It was a really fun day and now I have the aftermath. <laughs> Everything was so dusty so I have to wash my shoes. I better tear this world up. But in this hot weather, it's not a bad task to do. I can splash around without a worry. <laughs> putting away all the tomatoes from the garden and the goal of the day wow stay cool <laughs> it's gonna be so hot all week i try not to cook as much so i'm going to make an easy wrap i'm going to use some hummus some iceberg lettuce and some ham and i'm going to roll it up so it's going to be something that i like to eat in the heat but yet it has some protein in there Hundred and nine <laughs> far and hand for today. <laughs> oh, the morning was so hot as it started out. I was very not motivated i would say that's a good word for it i wasn't really motivated to do anything so i figured if i'm going to start to work on the refrigerator that's <laughs> that's gonna be a little bit more of a push for the day to start but after cleaning out one shaft i decided to not continue with that project because i didn't want it to leave anything on the countertop for a longer time because it was already hot inside of the house I have some dairy free cheese so I'm going to continuously working with these wraps because they are very easy and fast to prepare so I don't have to cook a lot.
starting the day early so I can do things in the kitchen a little bit and I'm adding some mint oil to the diffuser because it helps to feel a little bit more chill in the room and I just check the windows <laughs> if I can let in some cooler air nope 6 a.m. and it's already warmer outside than inside yeah we're going to keep that close and I'm going to prepare the breakfast in the early morning as well the air condition is really struggling to keep up with the temperature and we had a day when the power went out the internet was done and once the power is out we don't have a um, well that it's working so it was no water either that wasn't a fun day <laughs> I'm so glad we got our power back I'm going to make a Hungarian pea stew and I like to prepare food that it's easy and fast to cook on the days like that For blanket we ditched the comforter and we just using the flat sheet morning reset in the bathroom as well in the homemade cleaner that I use and you can find this recipe up on my website scandishhome.com I like to add some mint as well because it just leaves this nice fresh scent in the bathroom warming up some leftovers and I'm going to pack some oatmeal for as a snack I'm going to put some strawberry jam on the top the shoes are finally dry and they are nice and clean This dirt on my bag is also from the hike. <laughs> okay. What am I washing again? Oh my goodness. In this hot weather I'm just doing a light cleaning here and there a little bit of a dusting finally my purse is clean and also it didn't shrink that's a bonus but as I put out to dry it <laughs> I had to wash it again because a bird pooped on it my main worry in this hot weather was the chickens so multiple times of the day we went out and just sprayed down their coop with some water and it helped tremendously to lower the temperature I had an idea how to change a little bit our bedroom and I'm buying some plants for this project
This side of the bedroom is really a struggle to decorate or do anything with that because the window is on that side of the wall. Well, each side has a window where we can put the bed and it's not even centered. So that makes it tricky, but we figured out the solution. And we have the shower. Okay? But it's gonna count a lot if you don't. Saving all the tags from the plants and I'm going to put those stickers into my notebook. Just make sure I can remember how to take care of them. I bought mostly tropical kind of plants and they need lots of water and probably it's they selling this in our area because we're living somewhere where we have lots of rain and mainly we have moist in the air and Jord started to work on the shaft and my younger son is trying to put together uh well he has a lot of projects going on but he's trying to put together a computer and um, a speaker as well so back to the project, Joad is going to put up a shaft and our dilemma was is to have one long shaft or two shorter ones but they cannot be the same size because of the, the window situation so we figured one side is going to be a little bit shorter and the other one is going to be longer so that way nobody going to hit their head in there and i'm going to put some plants on it well since then i changed it up a little <laughs> and you will see in my next video probably but in this video i'm sharing that resort when i put the plant up there and it makes it a little bit more cozy I just want to say a big thank you to you all from the bottom of my heart. I so appreciate all the comments and the likes and for watching the videos. I really, really appreciate you and thank it's you so really helping me to create thank more. You, thank you. Thank you so much, Maria, for your kind words and for your beautiful gift. I love it so much. Thank you so much Sue for this beautiful gift and then the reason I got so emotional because years ago even before I started YouTube I had this exact uh, pot on my list and it was pretty pricey and I set it aside and by the time I got around back it was all gone so and I forgot about it later on and now it just popped up <laughs> it was such a nice surprise and I really so appreciate your kindness thank you so much I created many playlists if you check out my channel you can click on them and you can play one after the other thank you so much again for being here and I will see you soon in the next one bye